the universe vast, mysterious. We see only a fraction, a sliver of reality. But what if I told you there's more? Infinite versions of ourselves living out their lives in parallel universes. It started with a dream, vivid, real. I was in a world familiar yet different, the sky a different hue, the air a different feel. When I woke up, the memory lingered. It felt significant, like a peek behind the curtain of reality. Science fiction? Maybe. But recent scientific theories suggest the multiverse isn't as far-fetched as it seems. Quantum physics, string theory, they all hint at a reality beyond our comprehension. A reality where every possible outcome exists in a separate universe. I needed to know more. I dove into research, devouring books and articles, searching for answers. I learned about lucid dreaming, a state where you're aware you're dreaming and can control your actions. I felt a pull, a calling towards the unknown. It was time to explore the tools that could potentially bridge the gap between realities. Lucid dreaming, psychedelics. These were no longer just concepts I read about. They were my roadmap, my passport to the multiverse. The journey ahead was uncertain, shrouded in mystery, but one thing was clear. I couldn't ignore this calling. The universe was whispering its secrets and I was ready to listen. My journey began with the familiar yet unsettling terrain of dreams. Lucid dreaming, they called it, a conscious awareness within the dream state. Reality checks, dream journals, meditation, these became my daily rituals. Nights were no longer periods of rest, but expeditions into the murky depths of my mind. The first few attempts were fumbles in the dark, fleeting moments of lucidity like sparks in the void, extinguished before I could grasp their potential. Frustration gnawed at me, but doubt was the insidious whisper of the rational mind, a barrier to be dismantled brick by brick. And then it happened. A dream of flying, the wind whipping through my hair, the ground a distant tapestry below. Suddenly a jolt of awareness. I was dreaming, but this time it was different. The fear was gone, replaced by an exhilarating sense of control. The world around me, once a fleeting illusion, solidified. Colours became more vibrant, sensations more intense. I had opened the door to my subconscious and stepped into a realm of infinite possibility. My research led me deeper into the annals of ancient traditions. Shamanism, plant medicine, ayahuasca. The words held a strange power, a siren song from the depths of human history. I learned of shamans who journeyed to other realms using potent brews concocted from sacred plants. Ayahuasca, a vine native to the Amazon rainforest, held a particularly strong allure. It was said to be a gateway to the spirit world, a conduit to realms unseen. The air hung heavy, thick with the scent of damp earth and unknown life, the Amazon rainforest a place of primal energy where the line between myth and reality blurred. I had traveled for weeks, guided by whispers and rumors to reach this remote village deep in the heart of the jungle. My guide, a weathered man named Inti, led me along a winding path towards a clearing. There, bathed in the golden light of the setting sun, stood a simple wooden structure, the Maloka. This was the heart of the community, the sanctuary where the shamans conducted their ancient ceremonies. My heart pounded against my ribs, a drumbeat echoing the rhythm of the jungle itself. I was an outsider, an intruder in a world steeped in tradition, yet a deeper part of me urged me forward. The taste was acrid, a bitter assault on my senses. Nausea rose in my throat, a wave of discomfort threatening to overwhelm me, but I swallowed, surrendering to the experience, trusting in the wisdom of the shaman. As the darkness descended, I felt a shift, a loosening of the grip on reality I had always known. The boundaries of my physical form dissolved, replaced by a boundless expanse of energy and light. 
time became meaningless, a river flowing backward and forward. Visions, vivid and terrifying, exploded behind my eyelids. Geometric patterns swirled and pulsed, morphing into grotesque creatures and celestial landscapes. I was caught in a maelstrom of sensory overload, the very fabric of my being unraveling at the seams. But then, a voice soothing yet firm cut through the chaos. As the intensity of the experience subsided, a profound sense of peace washed over me. The visions faded, replaced by a clarity I had never known. The shaman spoke, her voice filled with compassion. She told me of realms beyond our comprehension, of infinite possibilities existing side by side. She spoke of the multiverse, not as a scientific concept, but as a living, breathing reality. I had glimpsed it, she said, during my journey. I had felt the echoes of other realities, the whispers of other versions of myself. The experience left me forever changed. The rigid framework of my reality had been shattered, replaced by a sense of awe and wonder at the vastness of existence. I had tasted the infinite and the world would never look the same. The Amazon had cracked me open, poured light into the deepest recesses of my being, but the rainforest was only the beginning. Back in the familiar world of concrete and glass, I carried the jungle within me, a pulsing reminder of the unseen realms. Lucid dreaming, once a fledgling practice, now felt amplified, charged with the raw energy of the ayahuasca experience. My dreamscapes were no longer playgrounds, but intricate landscapes pulsing with a life of their own. I began to notice patterns, recurring symbols and faces. The line between dream and waking life blurred. I'd see a face in a crowd, hear a phrase uttered in passing, and a jolt of recognition would shoot through me. The more I learned, the more I realized that the veil between worlds was thinner than we perceived. Shamans, mystics, and prophets throughout the ages had spoken of these breaches, these moments of contact with the divine. I began to experiment with techniques gleaned from these ancient traditions, meditation practices designed to quiet the mind. Slowly I learned to distinguish between the noise of my own mind and the whispers that seemed to emanate from somewhere beyond. They came in fragments, a fleeting image, a word spoken in an unknown tongue, a feeling of overwhelming love or bone-chilling terror. They were glimpses into other realities, other versions of myself. My dreams became vivid portals, gateways into these parallel lives. I witnessed myself as a king, a beggar, a warrior, an artist. Each life a testament to the infinite possibilities contained within the quantum soup of existence. But with each glimpse, each brush with another me came a growing unease. The boundaries of my own identity began to dissolve. Who was I in the face of infinite versions of myself? The darkness, once a source of fear, became a constant companion. I felt its presence in every shadow, heard its whispers in the silence between thoughts. It was the price of knowledge, the burden of seeing too much, of knowing too much. The world around me, once so familiar, now seemed thin and fragile. I saw the interconnectedness of all things, the delicate balance of cause and effect that rippled through dimensions. The journey had changed me irrevocably. I could never go back to the naive comfort of my former reality. And as I gazed into the depths of the multiverse, I knew that my journey was far from over. The boundaries blurred, waking or dreaming, I didn't know anymore. Faces flickered, landscapes morphed. My senses, once reliable, betrayed me, feeding me a chaotic symphony of sights, sounds and smells. It was exhilarating, terrifying. I became a ghost drifting through the world, a detached observer in my own life. Conversations felt scripted, actions predictable. Had I always been this aware, this detached, or was this a side effect of peering too deeply into the abyss? Relationships strained under the weight of my newfound perspective. How do you explain the multiverse, the infinite versions of themselves, to those tethered to a single reality? They saw fear in my eyes, heard madness in my whispers of other worlds. Loneliness became a suffocating blanket. The world 
once a source of wonder, now felt cold, alien. Was this the price of knowledge, to be forever adrift in a sea of infinite possibilities, forever yearning for a connection that no longer felt possible? I craved the comfort of ignorance, the blissful unawareness of my former life. But the universe, having revealed its secrets, offered no refunds, no return to innocence. The darkness deepened. It wasn't just the absence of light anymore, it was a presence, a sentient entity coiling around my mind, whispering doubts, amplifying fears. I saw the darkness in everything, the potential for chaos and destruction hidden beneath the surface of reality. Every smile felt like a mask, every act of kindness a fragile defense against the encroaching void. Sleep offered no escape. My dreams, once gateways to wonder, transformed into Nightmarish landscapes populated by creatures of pure shadow and whispers of cosmic dread. I woke, gasping for air, the echoes of terror clinging to me like cobwebs. The line between sanity and madness thinned to a razor's edge. Was I losing my mind or was the universe itself unraveling around me? I sought solace in ancient texts, hoping to find guidance from those who had navigated these treacherous waters before. But their words, once sources of inspiration, now felt like warnings, pronouncements of the dangers that awaited those who dared to peer too deeply into the abyss. The multiverse, once a source of wonder and possibility, now felt like a prison, a labyrinth with infinite corridors but no escape. If every choice, every possible outcome already existed, what meaning did my actions hold? Was I anything more than a puppet dancing to the tune of a preordained cosmic symphony? The faces of my infinite selves haunted me, the triumphs and failures, the loves and losses, all playing out simultaneously across the vast expanse of the multiverse. Was there a version of me who had found peace, who had reconciled the paradox of infinite existence? Or were we all, each and every one of us, doomed to grapple with the weight of our own cosmic insignificance? The journey, once a thrilling exploration, had become a descent into the heart of my own existential crisis. I was lost in a hall of mirrors, each reflection a distorted echo of myself, and the only thing I knew for certain was that I was no longer the person I had been before I started down this path. The universe had stripped me bare, laid my soul open to the infinite, and now I had to find a way to piece myself back together, to forge a new identity from the shattered fragments of my former self. The journey wasn't over, it was only just beginning. The darkness lingers, a shadow companion, but now I see it not as an enemy, but as a mirror. It reflects the depths within, the infinite potential for both light and darkness that resides within us all. The multiverse, once a source of terror and confusion, now feels like a homecoming. Yes, there are infinite versions of myself out there, living out every possible permutation of my existence, but here, in this reality, in this moment, I am the author of my own story. The fear of insignificance has faded, replaced by a profound sense of responsibility, for if every choice creates a new universe, then every action, every thought carries immense weight. I no longer seek to escape into the multiverse to lose myself in the infinite. Instead, I embrace the preciousness of this reality, the beauty of this fleeting moment in time. The journey has changed me. I see the world through different eyes, feel the interconnectedness of all things in the depths of my soul. The darkness remains, but it no longer frightens me. It reminds me that even in the face of the infinite, our actions matter. We are all travelers in this vast and mysterious universe, each of us a universe unto ourselves. Embrace the journey, embrace the unknown, and never stop exploring the infinite possibilities that lie within and all around you. The multiverse awaits.